Are you looking for your new favorite cake recipe? Well, one bite of this fluffy, melt-in-your-mouth coconut cake is going to keep it coming back for more. Hi, and welcome back to Plating It With Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you enjoy trying out recipes that turn out right every time, you're at the right place. So go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll be the first to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. We're going to start by doing a little prep work. So we're going to take a 9 by 13 inch cake pan. I'm going to brush on a little melted butter on the base of the cake pan and all along the sides. Now grab a little all-purpose flour and sprinkle it along the sides of the cake pan. And with a little tap a tap tap, we're going to evenly coat the sides of the cake pan. I've cut a parchment paper to line the base of the cake pan and this is going to help the cake to release very easily once it has baked. We are going to be going in with some desiccated coconut for this recipe, but sometimes the strands of the desiccated coconut are a little bit long, so I like to pulse it just a little bit in a blender to get a finer texture. And we're going to pulse it till it's a rough crumb, something like the type you use when making macaroons. And now we're going to measure out one cup of the coconut, which is approximately 100 grams. And I'm using sweet and desiccated coconut here, but you could also use the unsweetened one. In the measuring cup, I've got two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, which is 320 grams. And to that, we're going to add one tablespoon of baking powder, which is approximately 14 grams, and half a teaspoon of salt. Now let's give this a quick mix till it gets well blended. Now let's keep this aside and in another jar I've got half a cup of room temperature milk and to that we're going to add quarter cup of thick room temperature yogurt. Now let's give that a whisk till it gets well blended together. Now for this recipe we're going to go in with five egg whites because we want that lovely white color to our coconut cake. And we're going to separate them one at a time before adding it into a large bowl. Using our electric hand mixer, we're going to break the egg whites down till we get a lovely foamy texture. And to that, we're going to add quarter cup of the milk and yogurt mixture that we had made and we're going to continue beating it just for a little bit. In a large mixing bowl, we're going to add 3 fourth cup, which is 180 grams of room temperature unsalted butter. And to that, we're going to add 1 and 3 fourth cup, which is 340 grams of white granulated sugar. And we're going to start blending these together on a low speed and then gradually increasing our mixer to a high speed. And we're going to cream the two together till the butter turns pale and increases in volume. What we're doing here is incorporating air into the mixture so that we get a light and fluffy cake. Now we're going to add the remaining of the milk and yogurt mixture and one teaspoon of a pure vanilla extract. Now if you wanted a little bit more of a coconutty flavor, you could always add in half a teaspoon of coconut essence too. Now let's whisk this together on a medium high speed for about two minutes. Now we're gonna scrape the bowl all around and also at the bottom and give it one more mix so that it all gets well combined. Now let's add in the dry and the wet ingredients and we're gonna start alternating between the two, beginning and ending with the dry ingredients. So first we're gonna add in one third portion of the dry ingredients and mix it on a low speed. And when it's just about combined, we're gonna add half of the wet ingredients. And once again, with our mixer on a low speed, we're going to combine it together. Now let's add in the second one third portion of the dry ingredients and again, continue mixing on a low speed. Now we're going to add in the remaining of the wet ingredients. And once it is just about combined, we're going to add in the remaining of the dry ingredients. And this process helps to get a lovely batter and a fluffy cake. Now that the mixture is just about well combined, we're going to scrape down our bowl right around and at the bottom. Now with our mixer on a medium speed, we're going to give it a final mix till we have a smooth batter, just for about 30 seconds. We're going to take the desiccated coconut and add it to the batter. And with a spatula, using the cut and fold method, we're going to blend it into the batter. Be very gentle when doing this. You don't want to take out any of that air that we have incorporated into the batter. Now let's pour this into our line baking tray. And using the back of the spatula, we're going to spread it along the base of the baking tray so that we get an even surface. Make sure that you get it into all the corners of the baking tray. Now we're going to do a tap a tap tap to take out any air bubbles that may be trapped inside. And now we're going to pop this into our oven, which we have preheated 
at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius and we're going to bake it for approximately 30 to 35 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into the center of the cake comes out clean. Now we're going to keep the cake to cool completely before we take it out of the cake pan and cut it. Now I like to cut it into squares. So I'm first going to cut it in one direction and we're going to get about six strips and then we're going to turn it around and cut it into four strips. So from this recipe, I've got 24 squares, which is approximately one and a half inch each. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Now let's plate it and enjoy it. And now it's time to give our coconut cake a taste. And I'm really excited. Wow, just look at this. How very soft it looks. Just take a look. Wow. Mmm. Oh my. It's like biting into a cloud. It's so soft and I love the crumb and that delightful flavor of the coconut. I hope you give this recipe a try because I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com or you can hit on the link in the description box below for the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.